Hi kids, today we're going to roast a chicken. This is something that everybody needs to know how to do. If you're a guy, you definitely need to know how to roast a chicken. It's very impressive. If you're a girl, same thing holds. Uh, very easy to do. You're going to need a large cast iron skillet. You can get this. Um, I wouldn't pay a lot for it. Get, get it uh, Target, uh, Walmart, any of those kind of places. Uh, but a big one, the large one. A roasting chicken, which is a little bit kind of a larger chicken. Uh, salt. Uh, and I use kosher salt, uh, so that's what I'd suggest. And about six feet of uh, string. So you can get this anywhere. I suppose you could get it at the hardware store. You can also get it in the grocery section of your um, uh, supermarket. All right. So there's a couple things that are important here. It's not necessary to rinse the chicken. Uh, you're going to cook the chicken for about an hour at about 475 degrees. There's nothing that's going to survive. There's really no reason to rinse it. One thing you do want for a really nice roasted chicken is for the chicken to be as dry as possible. So uh, get underneath the wings, under the thighs, make sure that this guy is really, I guess it's a girl, is really, really dry. As dry as you can get it. So, oops, both sides. And then inside the cavity as well. You want to make sure you get all of the moisture that you can out of the chicken. And it's going to be surprising how juicy the chicken is given we're doing all of this to it. Okay, so there's our chicken. Now, the next part of this, which is also important and is a little tricky, but anybody can learn to do it. It didn't take me very long, um, just a couple of tries, is to uh, truss the chicken. So the first thing you do is drop the chicken in there. You want to fold the wings under. This is not super critical, but helps keep the chicken in one place. So just tuck those guys under. And now we're going to uh, now we're going to truss this guy. And all this means, all the trussing does, is pull the uh, the legs up against the neck. So I've got about six feet of string here. And if you watch carefully, I just kind of put them under the drumsticks, raise it up so that the ends are roughly even. That's up here near my hands. And then cross and go down. So you just want to try to get a loop around. See what I did there? Put a figure eight loop around these guys. Okay. Now you cross them again and tuck them between the thigh and under the wings. And if you do it right, you can kind of flip it over all in one big motion like that. And then all you need to do is get underneath the neck here, like that. Give it a good tug, make sure it's nice and tight, and tie a bow or a knot or whatever you want. You won't be reusing this string. I just tie a bow because I like things to be purdy. This guy needs to come back. Okay, flip it back over. Now remember, uh, when you're handling raw chicken, you want to wash your hands and make sure you wash everything else um, that you've been using. Okay, now the chicken's trussed. All it needs is uh, kosher salt, coarse salt. Do not be afraid to oversalt poultry. It's not possible. Um, this will make for a very nice juice. Okay, now all you got to do is put this in the oven, or I use the grill. 475 for 55 minutes. When it comes out, we're going to take it off. We're going to put it on a board. Uh, we're going to pour the juice on top of it. It'll be perfecto. Okay, so it's time to take the chicken off. We've uh, I've been using the grill. You can use the oven. 450 to 475 for about 55 minutes, maybe an hour. Probably don't want to go much longer than that. Going that long is just fine. I mean, remember, we use that cast iron skillet, so be very, very careful. Careful, the skillet is going to be really, really hot. So come with me, we'll take the chicken off the grill. Be sure to put down a trivet so you don't burn anything. Now I'm going to just take a wooden spoon 
and stick it into the, uh, the cavity of the chicken. Well, first let's make sure the chicken is not stuck to the... Just loosen it up a little bit. I'll just do this to help lift it. Put it right on your cutting board. And then we're going to want to uh, pour the fat and the salt that's been rendered from the chicken right on top of the chicken. Remember, this is very hot, so be careful when you do this. And just drizzle it on the top of the chicken like that. And then we'll let it sit for a while and we'll carve it. Okay, we've let the chicken rest for 15 minutes, maybe half an hour, something like that. You want it to be cool enough so that you can carve it. Um, we'll take some scissors and cut the string that we used to truss the chicken, just like that. Just kind of get it out of the way. And I'm going to show you how to carve a chicken. This is uh, pretty easy. You can use this for same technique for turkey or any other kind of poultry, I suppose. So there's a couple things that you want to do. First, you want to take the uh, drumsticks off. That's the legs and the thigh. And just pull this apart. Use the tip of the knife. A good sharp knife would be useful. Here, this is, guys, is still a little warm, but that's okay. Find the, where the bone separates and then just cut that off. That makes a nice piece. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Turn this around. Just cut away till you see the bone. The bone will separate and then you just carve it out. So that takes care of the, uh, the thigh and the drumstick. I'll work on the breast. Oh, one little tip. This tail right here Beautiful, mostly fat, but very tasty. The chef gets that. Okay. Mm, that's good. The breastbone is right down the middle of this. We're going to cut on either side of it and carve down, use the tip of the knife, pull this away, and then kind of cut underneath. You have a nice big breast when you do that. You don't push too hard, you'll feel it hitting the bone. Then just pull it away. Careful, it could be pretty hot. Try to avoid the bone while you do this. See that pull right away. And then we'll come in like this. Oops. Either side will do. There you go. Nice piece of breast right like that. Do the other side. Right up here is the wishbone. Can clean that off and uh, a lot. Let it dry out. Play the wishbone game. Turn my wife cheats out. There we go. Just like that. And then you can leave the if you like the wings. You can of course just pull those off. They can usually be handled by hand. There's another beautiful breast. And, uh, you know, either you or your pets can eat what's left on the carcass. It also makes a um, really great stock. Just like that. Pull this away. And there you have it. Some nice light chicken wings. Two breasts. A thigh and a drumstick. And a nice carcass. Still got a lot of meat on it. No more than four. Enjoy.